second. One second. Hold up. Let's do some of this. Okay. That is working. I gotta make sure all the levels are right. Okay. So hope everybody's been doing well. A lot of volume adjustments when we first start these all the time. All of the time. So yeah, Diddy Kong. Hey, it's Nintin up in the chat, right? When I come in here, thank you, Nintin. Prompt, as always, an amazing Nintin. Who do you think we should be here? Which character should we be? As we do the audio checks and things like that. Man, Nintin, I hope you're doing well. We got Taylor Swift coming up soon. So soon, I can't believe it. He said Banjo. Alright. I love all the characters in this game because it's like... Something about the N64... I think I've described this before, but there's something about Nintendo 64 that really hits me kind of in a way of sound. So like audio... For some reason, audio was like... I felt like it peaked or something, yet it didn't. Like, technologically it didn't, right? But I just, I listened to it and I'm like, this is what I want in my... It's the character of the audio. He said, I'm doing good, oh yeah, torture poets department. Yeah, let's just go to Ancient Lake since I know I'm gonna be rusty AF, dude. I'm gonna be so rusty, I guess we'll just go car. I thought you transformed into like all three, potentially? Wait, no, I don't want no time trial. Can I just do like the normal... You know, like a versus race? Okay, good. I was like, can I just do a normal versus race? Because I was sitting here thinking that they were just only doing a time trial. Oh, God, okay. You probably could do the fast start and stuff. Yeah, I'm so... What the hell, dude? Okay, let's see how rusty I can be. It can't be that bad, right? It's just in 64. It's just in 64. Whenever I get on these, though, collect or flip, it's like I always feel like the game is, like, secondary and I just, like, perform horribly. Okay, so this one's a boost. Do I use Z? Yes, I do. All right. I'm sitting here trying to jump, like do the Mario Kart drift and whatnot. But yeah, we'll just play like one or two races and then try to go to the next game. There's a lot of N64 games to choose from, but we're not going like, to do them all or anything. Okay, I press B instead of Z. What a moron. Let's try this. Somehow this is going in my favor, though. Somehow, some way. But yeah, it's like Banjo... When I think about it, you know, they did make other Banjo, Kazooie, Banjo, Tui, whatever. I guess Tui was only on N64, but they made other Banjo stuff later on. And of course, he's in Smash and whatnot with Kazooie. But something about this game, something about the game Banjo Kazooie on N64, I loved all that audio, man. It was just the greatest. It's like they opted to go with the whole, like, for like the voices and stuff, you know, and uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so I just felt like it had so much character. Yet, when you think about it, like compared to games nowadays, they have all the technology at their fingertips to just do straight up voice acting with words and blah blah blah. Guess not every game does that though, right? So, of course, I am blocking a little bit, but you can see we take the dub it was probably very easy though so my favorite character i think when i played this i was sort of between bumper and uh oh my god what's his name let's see timber there you go so timber the little tiger uh i remember everybody else's name and this was drumstick over here i liked his voice <laughs> right, drumstick. so he's got that total chickeny roostery vibe but, yeah, our, I guess, isn't that our first time seeing Conker as well? <laughs> I am Conker! <laughs> okay, so, we'll, I think we'll try one more race and then we'll, we'll move on, but just to pour water on my keyboard, that's great. I think it's actually fine, as I watch the everything explode. <laughs> We're still alive, right? It's like my keyboard suddenly shorts everything in the computer. Yeah, that was great. Totally didn't know my water bottle was right there. I was gonna show that, you know, I've got all these games with me. I think Mario Kart 64 we should just test real quick. Um, so we'll probably do that one. But we've got this game, Forsaken 64. We got Arrow Fighters Assault. 
we got Destruction Derby with a little bit of fade on the label. So that one could be a little better on the condition. Everything else, yeah, in the bag. Everything else is looking good. But then I also have Star Fox and Banjo Kazooie, so we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. But yeah, Nintendo was like, I've been seeing on TikTok for the album buildup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor's breakup songs are filled with so much emotion. I'm not ready for this one. Nintendo, you gotta be ready. We, we, we gotta do this. We gotta do it. Nintendo, you can be you can be ready, okay? I know you can do it. We got to. This is gonna be the greatest. I sure hope I'm not wrong. But Will it be the greatest Taylor Swift album? I mean, there's 1989, so it's like, can we really top that? I bet she could. If you go, you know, on YouTube, they have, like, the, uh, there's, like, people that do crazy covers, and normally I would be, like, against that since Taylor Swift is so good, but there's people that will do, like, a straight-up rock version of, for instance, uh, I, would, I listened to Trouble today, I guess it's I Knew You Were Trouble, but yeah, I listened to Trouble, the rock version today, and Style is actually, like, really good, like, I don't think there's a bad Taylor Swift song, really, but, like, when I put Style in there, it's probably lower on my, like, tier list, it's an okay song, I like it, but it's not, like, the best one to me, you know, I didn't, like, jam out to it incessantly or anything, but the rock version is flipping crazy, dude, the rock version is so good for Style. Specifically style because like it didn't work as well for cruel summer because like cruel summer is an amazing song Like I will listen to that one all day all night Cruel summer is great, but the rock version is just sort of it doesn't really like add something to it, right? But I swear like Taylor Swift could do like a rock album and be just because she's already genius, right? So like it would be so actually crazy good because she could do probably most any genres and be damn good and I just wasted that shield uh, he said, have you seen Eras Tour at home? So, isn't there another Eras Tour? I'm kind of confused, because I did see they obviously had, like, the rep concert, wasn't it? They had one of the concerts, like, live from back in the days, like, 2018 or whenever that happened. Again, I'm not, like, uh, so I'm, like, a Swifty who's still growing her wings and whatnot. So, I, I have some of the information of the past, like, conflated, or I might get it wrong here and there. You know what I'm saying. Um... But yeah, wasn't there like an Eras tour and then another Eras tour? Because I feel like I watched an Eras tour. This would have been like seven months ago, right? Probably. Do I have that right, anybody? Or was it just like around Christmas time or something? Around then. So yeah, I got second, you guys. I got second. But yeah, we'll go ahead and switch it up to another game. Nintendo, I think you're the only one chatting. I know we got some lurkers and that's totally fine. But how about we do Mario Kart next just for a quick one race. But then, which game would you think? Like, should we do like Star Fox? I know that that game's always great. We have played it one time, just one level. We also got Arrow Fighters Assault, like I said. Destruction, Derby, and Forsaken. So if you want... Could you please help me pick which the other one should be? But I'll do Mario Kart for now. So let me go ahead and like, we'll change up the titles and stuff. And then we'll talk about what kind of sales and things have been happening. Man, it's been crazy. I feel like it's been pretty good. Mario Kart 64. But yeah, like the audio in Mario Kart is so good. Shambler says, flip it! The good news is we already have Diddy Kong Racing, so we can. I was a little bit underwhelmed just now, to be honest, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, you said I think we should get Mario Kart out of the way. Yeah, we're gonna definitely do that. And yeah, Nintendo said I'm a skilled multi-lurker. I so appreciate it, Nintendo. You make me feel, like, so much better, too. Because I know that if you're lurking, you still pop in every now and then to just be like, Hey, I'm still here. Or, like, you say something just, like, every now and then. But yeah, you say then Star Fox, maybe? Shambler, do you agree we'll do Mario Kart right now? And then, uh, because we need to test this, just make sure everything's working great. And then do Star Fox, you guys agree? I think Nintendo picked a good one. Um, let's do this. Uh, sure, we'll just go 100. We could probably do 150, but I'm definitely out of practice. Yeah, Sham says, I love Mario Kart 64. The good news, again, is that we don't have a hard decision here. We get to just flip this because I already have it. I guess just because I'm always so bad during collector flip at playing. Although on Banjo, I mean on uh, Diddy Kong Racing, I got first and second, so that's not awful. But 
as I was saying, I'm usually pretty bad when we start gaming. It's like the game was always secondary in my mind. Like, I didn't just get the rocket start right here because I'm just thinking about other crap. You know, so like the gaming usually takes kind of like a backseat to my thoughts of... Collector Fl Whoa, okay, drifting is so much different in this game. Holy dick. Okay, okay, see what I mean? You get used to the modern ways, don't you? Uh, Dr. Kendo, there we go. I guess I used to love Wario on this. Is like This was peak Wario. I don't feel that Wario really got better. I think people would disagree with me, but it's because of the eras that we come from. Speaking of the eras tour. So like my eras tour was like N64, probably my favorite era. Wii U era was actually like really great, whereas most people would disagree with me. They'd be like, no, Nintendo was at their worst on the Wii U. Hell no, dude. We had like 3DS during the Wii U era, so you could consider them like kind of a twofer. And 3DS really came into its own during that time even more, you know, because 3DS had a really rough start. They kind of botched the 3DS launch, but were able to, like, clear that up, right? And then they tried to clear Wii U's, like, post-launch up for many years. But it's just so weird. Like, I just, I loved the Wii U. Man, oh god, a banana hit me! Flippin' fuck, because I don't think when I'm doing collector flip, I just kind of play, test, and talk to you guys about shit. But Shambler's right, Wario OP in this game. <gasps> Fucking bananas! Okay. Let's try to get Mario out of our faces, and then we'll... And then we'll figure this out. <laughs> Alright. Damn it, I'm gonna hit another one! The controls, I just expect them to do a little bit different in the way of turning. See, I'm just now getting the <laughs> drift down. <laughs> I'm just now getting the feel of it. But yeah. Nintendo, I don't, uh... I guess we never came to the... Ultimate conclusion about the Eras Tour. Am I right? Am I thinking of the same Eras Tour? Because wasn't... Isn't there another one? that's like different now like I feel like she released one unless I'm only talking about a tour of one of her albums only I just feel like I saw rep didn't they have like a full rep where you watch the entire concert for Taylor Swift but uh yeah so I saw that I'm distinguishing it from that though it would have came later than that and it was out probably sometime Christmas this year ish like around then but Nintendo says, oh yeah, yeah, but uh, anyway, Nintendo said, mine was GameCube, Wii, and Wii U. The Switch is awesome and all, but uh, I missed the Nintendo before they went serious. Yeah, like, Switch is great, all right, but I almost attribute some of Switch's, like, early success to Wii U because they just decided, like, hey, we're just gonna port everything that was, like, great from Wii U onto here, you know, and then, of course, make your, like, new Smash, but it, like, you think about Smash for Wii U, it's quite similar to Ultimate, it's just Ultimate has everything, right? So, like, obviously, Ultimate's the ultimate. We, like, probably Ultimate Supremacy, right, from Smash Brothers? But I feel that Super Smash for Wii U, not 3DS, but, like, Wii U, it, the, the pacing of the characters, you know, just every kind of, like, little component and how the game plays. It seems like it's pretty much just Ultimate without all the content, you know, because it was on Wii U. So, like, I guess what I'm saying is just that, like, even for the games that were sort of these HD ports or the remasters of, like, the Wii U era, like Mario Kart 8, Deluxe, you know, then they put out, um, what's it called, Pokémon Tournament, you know, DX. It's like they started doing that over and over again. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and get Yoshi out of there. And then let's try to reclaim our victory. But yeah, Nintendo said Taylor was doing it for every tour. I did not know that. She's done one for every tour. Okay. So there's a lot of Taylor Swift that you could have viewed over the streaming years. Oh my god! I'm playing like an idiot though. See, I'm thinking about other things, but it's okay. It's okay. I think, just in general, again, though, like, I love the Switch, so, like, definitely don't get me wrong, you know, I've, I've had all my fun with it and stuff, I just, something about before Wii U came out, and then when it was, like, launching and everything, like, I felt very similar to how I did in N64. N64 was just, like, it was so huge, like, and that's what I thought Wii U was, I was like, this is gonna be huge, you know, like, it felt so huge to me. And it's really weird to say that, just because, obviously, we see what a flop Wii U was, and so that's why I know people would generally disagree with me. But, can you deny that, like, the Switch, each one of the Wii U titles that was ported over, maybe with the exception of Pokken, because I don't know how that did, or was it a rousing success, but... 
was it you know every every single one of those was great on the switch mario kart like it played pretty much exactly the same you were just using obviously your controllers for switch rather than wii u and the wii u's pro controller a lot like the switch's pro controller it's a beast and a bastion of like you know, you've played on it for like 80 hours straight and you still haven't even lost like half the battery. You know what I mean? Dage Frost up in the chat says, Doctor, and tips that hat, Dage Frost. So since we're playing some retro-ish Dage Frost, we were talking about, well, in conjunction with talking about Taylor Swift, we were talking about like, oh my god, what was kind of your best or favorite Nintendo era? And so I was talking about how N64 was it for me, but like, the Wii U kind of, it captured this thing that I just, some of it's inexplicable and some of it I'm trying to explain right now and it's, I'm, I feel like I'm doing a decent job, but uh, again, like, <laughs> how much of this can I really convey in words, because a lot of it's like a feeling that just, something about it was just so magical to me, but... Yeah, I mean, you gotta think about, like, Nintendo Switch also sort of had this, okay, we're gonna go portable, but, like, second screen experience. So, yeah, Wii U's wasn't as portable, because you couldn't take it to too many rooms over, or on the bus, or wherever you're gonna go with it. Way portable. But that was where that idea kind of came in with Nintendo DS, obviously being your first introduction, to really do it real. Like, you had experiences like the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast had a VMU. You know, it's your visual memory unit, or virtual memory unit, I guess, is what they called it. God, I suck so much now, but I got that at least. Um, but yeah, ultimately, those are my thoughts. So, Dage Frost, Shambler, if you guys have an era that you prefer, I'd love to hear it. Nintendo, over there in the uh, YouTube chat, though, she said, GameCube, Wii and Wii U, and that's awesome. Like, you can't deny, of course, the epicness of Wii, right? Like, that was, I wrote my senior thesis about like video games, it was essentially posing the question, should minors be able to purchase, uh, I forgot the exact quote, but I think it was like mature rated video games, like it was basically minors obviously being 17 and below I think, at least at the time, I don't know if minor has changed now in the terminology and the age, but like, to me, Obviously, I came to, I think, a realistic conclusion that I think a lot of us would, right? Which is like, no, it's not just like, little eight-year-olds should just play whatever the fuck game they want. But like, in the same token, if you can like, drive, you know, you get your driver's license in this country at least at age 16, for example, and in other countries it's different. But if you can kind of do that, like, you probably have the responsibility of being able to play a violent video game. And so there was a lot of discussion on what the studies are, like, for and against the point of playing violent video games no matter what age you are, you know? Is it a benefit? Is it- does it make you more violent, you know? And so I'm so sorry that I'm, like, talking way too much unless you guys like this, but I just feel like I should go on the full rant here. It's just that, like, it was talking about a lot of people like Jack Thompson and, like, Hillary Clinton was for a while, like, kind of these either anti-sex or anti-violence or anti-both sort of, like, crusades on video games. When in reality, most of the studies that were conducive, and I'll tell you about both sides, but, like, most of them that were conducive said that actually playing a violent video game is exactly what we probably think, right? Which is, the conclusion we come to is it's a release, you know, it's a comfort. It's something that does not make us more violent. Sometimes it can calm us down or it can, like, make us feel better after the end of a long shitty day and stuff like that, right? It, it doesn't matter if the game's violent or not, but playing a violent video game, you know, maybe has that effect on us. Now, the studies that say the opposite, they were stuff like, okay, well, we tested this number of participants, whatever it was, like 50 or something, and then they're like, we subjected them to mild provocations and then saw how they would react. The video game crowd was much more reactive than the non-video game playing crowd. And so I was like, now, wait a second. First off, most people play video games, probably. You know what I'm saying? Like, probably more people than not. But secondly, what mild provocations? They didn't, like, disclose what that was. Did you, like, push someone and then expect them not to react? You know what I mean? Like, what was the provocation? Eh, we gave them mild torture. You know what I mean? Like, what? They didn't say what it was, so... I just was sitting there guessing. So, you know, I was saying, like, a lot of the studies sort of have these ifs and question marks about them and like things that would influence them either direction uh so 
anyway. But, um, Dage said, N64 and DS. DS mainly because of a game called Custom Robo Arena. I know it, I didn't play it, but I know it. Uh, developed by five people with a story comparable to early video games in regards to a well thought out story, which was a 20 hour game, but specifically the difficulty was adaptive. So it scaled based on your skill level. That was a Nintendo, so N64 for Nintendo. It's okay, like, I more mean the N64 console and like the games that would have come out for it. Yeah, my screen just went out for a second. Sometimes when I'm converting, I want to get a new one, but like my converter for making N64 or any retro system into a 1080 60 frames like, you know, signal, it will sometimes cut out. But hey, we still got first regard this peep that right there. But yeah. Chandler was saying, depends on the person. I loved M-rated games at like age 12. So did I, you know. I started playing video games mainly when I was around age 6. Um, oddly enough, my sister had the NES console in her room, but she didn't really like play. Sometimes I'd go in there at like age 5 or something and be playing some duck hunt or whatever, you know. But ultimately, I think... Uh, I kind of claim H6 and NES and Genesis as my first like two consoles with Game Boy very shortly after, but uh, N64 was again that like major one that really shifted what video games were, right? That just shifted it all. Playing Mario 64, Super Mario 64, like that, when Homeboy could do like backflips and you were running around in this adventure platformer, third person, it, just amazing, right? Like what that did for gaming so n64 is where i credit that and again the audio but i'm looking at a lot of it with nostalgia goggles because like i play this now and this was fun but i can obviously like get a sense now that i've seen technology nowadays you know i hope you know shambler said i was 12 13 playing doom and quake and you were okay right i mean were you like a violent little kid you know what i mean i know you right now when you're not like a violent person you know like you're a person that has your shit together, in my opinion. You know, when I think about you, Shambler, like, I always aspire to be like you. Ninten said, that's what the 3DS uh, has done for me. Coming home from a very hard day at school as an older student and just switching on Pokemon was one, uh, one of your... Okay, your one safe space, yeah. So I think that that... That gets to the other point, too, is that, like, I did bring up during my senior thesis and I use the Wii as like the prime example of like you can do the video gaming experience with kids in a way where they're not playing violent video games and it's okay so while you know the 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 question can be argued right like how much is this affecting a person to be violent or not by playing violent video games but d despite that question being something up for debate what is generally just known is that why not just get your nine-year-old or your six-year-old or even my son you know my son is six but like at age five you just play like the wii and play wii sports play some games that are just fun for everyone you know it's not like i have to only play violent video games as an adult i've kind of noticed most of what i play is not violent you know but anyway let's go ahead and switch to Star Fox now but um thank you guys for hearing out that rant and then we'll kind of talk about it, but our cost is pretty low for most of these. The Mario Kart is actually just a $4 cost, and so we'll talk about that here soon. Uh, excuse me, but I wanted to also read what Dage Frost was saying. Because Dage said, also, I was able to stop by because I hit Masters in Unite in two to three hours. Can you guys believe it? If you're over on the Twitch side or if on the YouTube side, you just want to say it to him. Just give Dage Frost a nice... Congratulations, or good job. Just let Dage Frost know you're thinking about him. That's really cool, man. Can't believe you hit Masters that fast, but at the same time, I know Pokemon Unite, it's like sometimes the season just, if it's going good and if you're using the right Pokemon, you can probably reach it, like, faster. I don't know what this season's like. I haven't touched the game in four ever, and in five ever. So Star Fox, it's one of those again, like at least Mario Kart, I kind of got used to it and got a little bit better, but I feel like I'm going to perform shittily. So I hope when I, the game looks kind of dark, we'll have to see if it continues being dark. I, I can brighten it up a little bit. I think it's just this part. 
into a wasteland. But Shambler said, I knew that games aren't real, so as long as the kid can tell the difference between games and real life, it should be fine. Not everyone can determine the difference. I think that then becomes the question of the senior thesis, right? And again, this is like a 80-page thesis because it's your senior thesis. It's like the, the big one. And so obviously I got the chance to like go way deep into this and look it up and what are all the nuances here because you are right that it would vary person to person but the question essentially is like should the government be an entity essentially in there like should the government step into this you know is this something where the video games need to police themselves and obviously i think we kind of have this like combination of the two sometimes when government like i mentioned like hillary clinton for instance she like really came out against uh, I think it was Grand Theft Auto specifically when they had that hot coffee mod for G uh, GTA San Andreas. And so, you kind of think about sometimes they have crossed over. I feel like it's been a long while since like governments really stepped in about video games. You know, now they're talking about like social media, you know, because that's like the new kind of thing. But, uh, back to zero is up in the chat, you guys. We love back to zero. What's going on, brother? But uh, Nintendo also said, speaking of your son, I recently played Sonic of the Secret Rings Party Mode. I realize it's very motion control based for the mini games. All right, all right. So Sonic and Secret Rings, I think I've got it. I'm trying to think. That's for Wii, right? I think I've got it. Again, something about N64 and my audio. It's because part of my neurodivergence, Nintendo knows this, of course, because Nintendo's at least kind of divulged to me and during our live stream so I'm normally careful about this but I think Nintendo's fine with me sort of outing this information is that like we have the autism and so like part of my Nintendo get me when I say this but like part of my like special interest and like my obsessions and stuff hyper interest hyper damn it I just fucked it up again I'm supposed to press A I was pressing Z like a dip so I just missed like so many damn there we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, part of my hyper obsession was with audio. Like, I just really like info dumped and hyper obsessed on audio, and like, that was like my special interest. I was just like such an audio file, so my like sensory kind of experience was always with audio and something about, you know, growing up with N64 largely, Sega Genesis and N64, like, I honed in on the audio of those consoles. <laughs> so I think about this Star Fox, and it's just like taking me back to being a kid and listening to the sound so vibrantly they just sounded so good to me but it's like we obviously have new technology now you know voice acting and such that's different oh my god 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 oh shit what's the boost okay my screen just died but i got it still um let's see dave Spross said well as i mentioned trying to go pro but back to games whoops there we go i gotta get all my controls back so yeah, if I listen to them, I could get the controls, but I don't listen to them. <laughs> Just as I said, the audio is great. I'm not listening. What's the boost? Okay, it's that. Yeah, that's what I had to get. There we go. But yeah. Dave Frost, though, said, I love playing N64 original Mario Party and Smash Brothers. Dude, the Smash Brothers. You want to talk about audio. I feel like the audio for that game was so damn good, and especially at that time. Oh my god, like, I can just remember Pikachu, like, just it saying, Pikachu! You know what it is, like, that shocks people, like, just the typical special. Um, just be, it, it was so good, dude. But, like, all the music and stuff, can you remember just when that theme would come on? Oh, it's so damn good. Dage Frost, it's good to know that I got a fellow oldie here, because that means you would have played at least in 64. Sometimes I'm, like, way older than my viewership. Shambler's one of the oldies with us. Uh, Nintendo and Back to Zero aren't super youngins, though. Like, they're not, like, 12. You know what I'm saying? They're still young people, but not tiny. But yeah, Nintendo said, Oh, I'm, I'm very open about diagnosis of who I am, and I express myself as I am, and I love who you are, Nintendo. So, it's all good. I guess let's go this way. We'll go this way. Yeah, Dave Frost said, Oh, the audio was so clean. Because, uh, mainly because they use inventive ways to create their audio from scratch. That must be it. I, I, I'm trying to identify, you know, what was it? Why did I like it so much? You know, what exactly was it? And part of it is that, but it's also just we were listening to a new technology at that time. So I think it stood out to me just because that's my nostalgia. Whereas people who played the Wii, for example, as their nostalgia are like, you know, 
whatever system it was. Eh. But, yeah. Uh, Nintendo said it. I was thinking because you said he's fantastic with the Wii, and that game got me into learning how to work video games. That sounds great, Nintendo, because I didn't think about it before. So, that sounds awesome. That sounds like a point I didn't think of yet. Uh... So I'm not doing as bad as I thought I was gonna be like this, but I'm not doing like great right now. At least we're at the boss, but yeah, no. Boom, got that one down. Get the bottom one. Nope. Didn't get it. Take them down, suckers. They make such an easy first boss. You can do the bomb on that and it'll fall off, but I saved my bomb for this. Boom, look at how much damage that does. Pow, there we go. Record time! No, I'm just kidding. Are Who are you guys? We're Star Fox. <laughs> You'll never defeat <laughs> I love a boss saying something as they're getting defeated. You'll never defeat Hendrix! <laughs> Shambliss is so old. I know it's painful sometimes, right, Sham? I'm trying to stay young, but I just can't. Even my voice is trying to go crack right now so yeah uh, peppy survived peppy was always my favorite of the typical four in their crew i think everybody's of course supposed to not like falco and whatnot but i used to love that shit that he would say <laughs> he'd just be like i'm fine you okay over there fucks you son of a bitch let me make sure that i changed no i did not Let's see, Star Fox 64. Boom. Save. Gotta save the game I'm playing. So yeah, you guys, here we go. Proceed to next course. We're going on the hard path, I think. Fox, we're under attack. Help us out here. I also just I'm like the like way. rapid bobbing of their heads. I'm on my way! <laughs> Alright. Oh, I really liked Bill, so I really like the missions that have Bill in them, in this game. Um, but yeah, if there's, if there's anything you guys want to talk about, by all means, please. Like, Back to Zero just came into the chat a while ago. How's your day been, you know? What are you guys doing? Um, I know it's not Friday yet. Any other Swifties here? Taylor Swift people, you know, we're listening to Tortured Poets soon. I guess some people are doing like a midnight thing in their time zone, so you can listen to it like kinda early. But I think I'm actually not. I'm pretty much Ooh, listening to it with my wife, Tamara. She said, we'll listen to it together. We'll make a big thing out of it. Pow. The AI's getting fucked, you guys. They're trying to make robots send them our way. Oh, can I not blow those up? I thought you could intercept those. Let's try. Oh, Nightmare Creatures. Okay, Sham, I didn't play that one. What's that one even about? I don't know that game. Oh, I should have done the charge. Damn, you can get both sides if you do the charge on one. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know Nightmare Creatures. I know of the game now, like doing Collector Flip. I've run into that before. If I knew everything by heart, like I used to, I'd be charging at the right times. Keep up the pace! Do you guys remember that story, or should I tell? I guess I'll tell my story, just in case anyone doesn't remember, but... Star Fox, literally, I had this... This is so, like, cringe, but this is what you do as a kid, at least me. Okay, let's break. Um, but you know how they make those jokes sometimes? That's like, Source, my dad works at Nintendo. Like, it's just a joke or whatever. It's like a meme. But, like, I actually had, like, a Source, my uncle works at Nintendo. <laughs> Because I used to basically lie to my friend, and uh, he and I like kind of envisioned like a Star Fox where you could like make the character say what you want and stuff like that. Like essentially mod it to like have them saying other things and stuff, or like play as Peppy. And I was always like, yeah, my uncle works for Nintendo, and he did that. And so like I was explaining things like that to my friend. Like I'm such a doofus, dude. I can't believe I did that. It's so like cringe, but it's like so source. My uncle works at Nintendo of me. Ow. I don't think I'm doing great, to be honest, on this level. It's not horrid, but it's not the best. I haven't taken out everything. 
Don't you have to defeat like a certain number of enemies on this one to keep advancing? They don't give you like an enemy counter is the thing. Sup, pimp? Boom! He's quick, be careful! He's only quick for me now. When I was a kid, I could take that out in two seconds. Definite skill issue as an older person. <laughs> yes, Fa Falco, you son of a bitch! It is the best I could do. There, I just shot him. <laughs> hey, Einstein! On Smash, you know when he says, hands off my prey, it sort of sounds like he's saying, hands off my bread. Hands off my bread! Thank you for the care package. Shambler said, basically just fought monsters. Something's up ahead! Look, Something's up ahead! All range mode. Would people say that in real life? Like, let's say we were the Star Fox crew in real life and stuff like that. Would we say all range mode? Or would we, we just switch without saying the words? Jeez, quit moving around! <laughs> Alright. What's up, pimping? Oh, God. I could just run into him. That's fine. Good job, guys. I did most of the work. Okay. Let's see. Let's give a nice boost and then do this thing. Eh. Gotta wait for your damn meter. Jeez, that guy's far away. Come back to me. You swine. Okay. No. Yeah, sorry, Slip. I think that was my fault. Ow! I just wasted a bomb. I'm such a dip. I'm dipsticking it, you guys. I'm dipsticking. I already lost my schnizit earlier. Slippy, get the fuck out of the way! Alright, you guys, here we go. This is going in for the kill. Right about now. Okay, get him. Yeah, Slippy. You don't have to talk about yourself in third person, man. It's alright. I got this. Just hold your tits. Oh, fool. Here it comes, guys. The A-team. Yet, it looks like a B on the map. It's supposed to be the A-team, but he's B. Cocky little freak! Hey, you can't say the same thing over and over. <laughs> Every time you hit him, cocky little freak! Alright. Yes, shooting lazy beams, Nintin. That's what we doing. You know, we've got the great fox. Why can't it just kind of... Just blast the... <gasps> Holy God! I almost ran right into the ship. Okay. No, you son of a prick. Cocky little freak. Uh, eh. I love that. Cocky little freak! Uh, yeah, pretty much. I've only got one wing, so... I'm not that cocky, to be honest. <laughs> Dage Frost said, Dear God, the voice acting. But what shocks me is they had the ability to get good audio and good voice acting, and the creators didn't put in the work. Gotta read that in just one second. I don't want... I want to take advantage of this! Slippy's hit! Oh my God! Okay. Um, he said, however, then you had, and as a great example, Jet Set Radio Future. Yeah, yeah. Not only had still some of the best music, yes, yes. DJ Professor K's voice. It was phenomenal. You're right. Damn it, that's where you're supposed to bomb him. God, I'm such a dupe. I am a dip schnizit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're right. I mean, it, it did... Technology did do something for them, right? You know, like, some of them made the choice not to, depending on the studio and everything like that, but... I mean, technology really did bring it to a more crisp, clear point. Oh my god, I almost ran into him. We would have been flucked. When you eat Chipotle <laughs> at 3 p.m. Oh my god, and it tears up your insides. As that guy's dying. Damn you, Chipotle! Can you imagine? But yeah, what's everybody doing... I guess for your weekend or anything. I'm trying to get you guys on another topic if you want to, unless you liked the topic I was on, which is essentially just talking about the eras of video game and whatnot. We could talk about anything. 
And so once we kind of go through a lot of this Star Fox right here, we're then going to kind of transition out of the gameplay and we'll talk about the kind of more collector flip aspect of it. You know, if I didn't own this game myself already, which of course I do, I currently have like three copies. So we have two of these for, for selling. And I did just sell one recently that was box and manual with it as well. You guys probably know the story if you've been around here for a while. We were sitting on that one for a long time because it was hard to get people to buy it at the right price. But if I didn't have it, I would actually collect. This would definitely be collect. But yeah, Shambler, he said, hanging with you tomorrow for the fest. As long as Taylor Swift doesn't take up all my time. I'm just kidding, Shambler. I'm going to be listening to Taylor Swift during the day with my wife, so I'll be, like, working a little bit in the morning. We're going to do it probably around lunchtime where we listen to Taylor Swift and just kind of vibe and give all of our time to that that we want to. And then, of course, the Splatfest starts. I'm also, I've got Patreon tomorrow before all that starts. It's kind of midday, I guess, so it's, like, fitting around Tortured Poets, probably. But, uh, yeah, now we're in... Our little submarine. So I guess it doesn't have a charge shot. I kind of forgot about that. Look at those polygonal fish. Look at those polygony. Let's see. Oh yeah, infinite bombs. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to torpedo. That's essentially your charge shot. That is dope fresh though. You gotta think about Star Fox and be like, yeah, we should definitely have like other vehicles and like the multiplayer you could even get on foot and whatnot. They should totally have that, dude. Like the one thing I've been missing from Switch and I don't think they're gonna do it now to be honest because I just feel like we're gonna be in the territory of the new console, you know? People call it Switch 2, but like whatever it's gonna be called. And so like to me, I think it would have already been announced if there was gonna be another one of their major IPs or a brand new IP or something. So like Princess Peach Showtime, I think was kind of the last of it. Whoa, I almost ran in that fucking wall. Damn you starfish. Looks like the pollution. What is global warming? Global wubba. But um, yeah, I was going to say essentially that Star Fox Star Fox is the one thing I've been clamoring about, and you guys know because I got the receipts on my Discord server ever since we've been having Nintendo Directs and stuff. I've been like, yep, this is my hope prediction. I never really thought it was going to come to, though, and it didn't. I was thinking it needs to be a Star Fox, and I would love to have one that you can just go online multiplayer with. I mean, come on. Can you imagine doing these campaigns, but, like, with everybody? Especially those, like, boss battles where there's all four of them, like, clearly on the same kind of plane and whatnot all around. Like, that would be so fucking fresh. Up to four player online, at least, you know? Star Fox, man. It'd be so damn good. And have, like, multiple vehicle methods. So, like I said, in the... Holy anglerfish! Um... In the multiplayer for this one, for instance, you can go on foot and stuff. Like, they should have that mode, and then, like, under the water. In the air, obviously, your Land Rover, too. But, Shambla said, do you see the new TMT? Yeah, yeah, it's coming out. Um, yes, it's the shitty turtles, so that's the unfortunate part. But, hey, I would play it if it's fun. It looks to be a lot slower paced than, say, Shredder's Revenge, or even the TMNT game from 2004, I think it was. It was with the, isn't it UPN? What's the, I forget what TV network. The ones that don't have the eyeballs, they look like tough. They don't got no eyes. They just got white in their eyes. Dage Frost said, I'm going to a meeting because my building has roaches. Damn! That's my biggest fear, by the way. Some of y'all know that, some of y'all don't. Cockroach is my biggest fear. And dying alone. I'm just kidding. Um, said after a year and a half, they're doing something. Holy shit. However, they just decided to evict everyone, spray, then get new people. Fuck that, dude. That is an ass. Said, so myself and my neighbor are going to a meeting because this is bull. So that's what I'm going to be doing. How about you? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm sorry. He's saying, how about you, chat? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I mean, I want to know what you guys are doing, good or bad. So, that's fine that you said it. I'm just saying, I'm just... That is so awful, man, dude. If you guys watch this kind of stuff, look at John Oliver's video. It's like, you know, 20 minutes or so, or 30 minutes, about, like, rent. It's fucking just... Some of the shit is so atrocious, dude, how people are treated, at least in my country. I don't know about everywhere, but... At least in the United States, man. I don't know if Dage is in the U.S., or... 
Maybe Canada? I think we talked about this. Something told me Canada, actually. Lisa's in the chat! Lisa! What's going on, Lisa? We were just talking about the eras of video gaming. And kind of like which ones were our favorite, blah, blah, blah. But then I said, hey, you know, we don't have to talk about that, you guys. We can talk about whatever. And so I said, what are you guys doing? And that's when we just read that from Dage Frost over on the Twitch side. He's got some shit on his hands here that he's got to deal with. So much crap, man. Shambler said, I'm team cockroach. I'm team unfriending. Fucking hate roaches. Okay, here's this shitty fucking eyeball thing. You gotta hit its uvulas or whatever the fuck those are. You gotta hit those. Uh, Shamble said, it's like a dungeon crawler, so it's interesting. Yeah, man, it, that's like the, again, they had that, like, UPN turtles, the, or whatever. The ones I was referring to before might have not been UPN, but anyway. Um, yeah, that was, like, the better, probably, dungeon crawler, but hey, this game's not out yet, so I can't say for sure. But it is the shittier turtles, you know, they, they look so shitey. They really do. It's like... I get it, they're gonna change the direction Ninja, Ninja Turtles go- Ninja Turtles? The Ninja Turtles, they're gonna change the direction they go in and all that, you know, over how many years it's been since the fucking first Turtles of the comics came out, dude. It's like, of course they're gonna change their design, but come on, man. These ones are shite. Also, that movie- I, I didn't see it, but that one by Seth Rogen, was that movie actually good? I feel like it was probably so zoomery, you know? Zoomer humor. Not that that's always bad, I guess, but just... Was it? You know, wasn't it? Am I doing the right thing here? No, I'm not. The boss hasn't taken any damage. I think I'm supposed to be firing a torpedo at the... Rainbowy ones? Chandler said, OMG Fozzy. Oh, he said I should be Fozzy Bear for the... <laughs> waka waka waka, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Fozzy. Damn it, I screwed it up again, dude! We're gonna be fighting this boss for 20... Fucking minutes alone. All right, first let's get this. There, see, I've got one of them. There you go. Fucking a, dude. That took me so long. <laughs> what a dipshit I am. Go for the eyes while I'm sitting here trying. You literally just don't have to move. You just sit here shoot. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Bitch! Shoot it! 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 Bitch! Okay, come on. I'm sitting there shooting. Thank you, Slippy. Canadian. All right, Dave Trice, Canadian. I got you, man. But it sounds like this shit's happening to you guys over there, too. Yippee! You did it! Oh, thank you, Slippy. Listen, don't get a big dick. It's gonna be fine, Slippy. Gotta calm the tits. We're only, like, halfway through the campaign. We're preparing to dock. We're preparing to co dock! You know what I said. I like Fox's voice in this. It's sort of that, like, typically... It's like community theater overly hero kind of guy. I guess it's not as dramatic as I think, but, like, I kind of think of it like that. You know, this... Stars and Stripes, I'm Captain America! Like, it's just sort of this, uh, very noble, heroic guy. That's how I viewed it, at least, when I was a kid. Now it sounds a little more bland than I remember, but it's, it's still good. The audio is great. I love it. That pew, pew. status of the team. They're all still dicks. Yeah, Shambler said, I'm glad I bought a house in 2020. I bought my house in 2018. I've been thanking the Lord and there's fucking problems with this house, man. You got to do all the repairs and shit yourself. But that's the thing is about being left on the streets. The main thing is just worrying about affording it. You know, can I fucking afford it? Ugh. I can, but. Damn. An enemy yeah, Shamblers had avoided the 7% interest rate. I know, dude. It's been up and down, but definitely where I live, like Texas, is just like so desirable for people. <sighs> the rates of like what you gotta put down on a house is nuts. Gotta give them my cock and balls. Let's yeah, let's sneak in low. What, you don't like Zonas? You got a problem with it? I can't believe they did this. I can't believe they did this. If only they would have recycled. And not thrown it in the water. 
I hear you, Flippy. Jeez, these racists. Come on, Star Fox team. We're better than this. Talking shit about this place. Oh, did I fuck it up? Yeah, we got spotted. I'm a dipshit. I think you're supposed to not get spotted to, like, do the harder path. Oh, you fucking daddy long legs prick. You bitch. Holy daddy long legs. Prick. Slippy, shut the fuck up. He sees I've got guys on me too. Guys or girls, okay, come on. You don't know what these little fucking pterodactyl things are. They may not have gender over here, all right? You gotta treat them right. What? I thought that was gonna get all three. If you go in the middle. No. Okay. Shameless said, we thought about moving to Texas, ironical. Oh god, I almost fucked the cat. Hey, what's up, cat? Yeah, Falco's such a, like, dipshit. You know, he done failed with the ladies. Actually, he probably got plenty of attention from him. But sometimes it's those douchey dudes. They get a lot of whammon's attention. Could be bad attention, though. Falco's not the guy you marry, right? Gotta marry a guy like Slippy. Oh my god! Ow, you son of a... What, can I fuck that Eggman thing? Ow, you pricks! Dopey fuckers! Ouchies, ouchies! I'm playing like a dopey fuck ya! I've got somebody on my tail! Well, you know, you could do... What is it again? Down and, uh, left C-stick. Yeah, but that would actually be mansplaining, so I don't mean to mansplain. Get him! Get him, sucker! It's really fox-splaining. Now I'm mansplaining, fox-splaining. Fuck you! Boom! Open the hatch, you bitch! Okay. Just trying to get all these damn things. There's so much happening. When I was a kid, I was just like, yeah, this is easy. But now I'm like, wait, what the fuck? There's too much things. Stop it. Thanks. Enemy tanker! What the fuck did you just call me? Oh, I couldn't see it myself, blocking the entire camera. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I went under the water. Jesus Christ. Superstar. Jesus. Jeebus! Ask Jeeves. Holy dick. Ask Jeeves' fucking ass what do we do in this situation? Thank you. But yep, Shambler ended up in the Iowa. I wonder what your Facebook marketplace scene is out there, Sham. I gotta check it out. I think CK, there's lots of activity over in Baton Rouge. Fuck you! God, my ship is like totally half dead. I'm playing this like a dip. Yeah, we're the legendary Star Fox team. Our ships may look shitty, but don't worry, our attitudes are as well. Oh god. Ow, god damn it. Yeah, the boxes are more of a threat than the guys are. <laughs> Shoot! Get this guy off me! Someone repair my ship. Don't we have the technology for this? Get them. Get them. Holy dick! Something about the joystick, too. I'm like... What? What is what? Oh, yeah, it's fucking barrels that explode like crazy. Jesus. Sorry for cursing so much. I'm really not. You guys know I love to curse. I fucking love it. God, I love cussing so much. It makes my life so much better. They say that people who curse are more intelligent. So I don't know what happened to me. Just kidding. All right. Holy fuck! Oh my god, that guy just fucking potatoed me, you guys. What the fuck? Okay, enemy shield analyzed. What do we do? It's these things, right? Isn't it these things? Or is it those things? Do we just bomb it? Am I being a dip? I think I am. I think I'm being a dip. I guess let's bomb one and see what happens. Yeah, okay, you're supposed to bomb it. Okay. 
What if you didn't have bombs? Okay, we do. All right, bitch. I just 10 degrees high day fire, holy. Man, that guy almost got my ass. What's up, bitch? Oh, missed again, ho. Shamless said, me too, I need to check it out. It's like, I'm sending you all my stuff. Dude, that's awesome. Shambler! <laughs> yeah, I was reading the chat and, uh, it was you guys' fault, okay? I got fucked. All right, so we're supposed to bomb shit. Boom. No, I needed that bomb. Okay, there we go. What's the secret, isn't it? I thought you just bomb it once and it's gone. What am I getting wrong here? What am I getting wrong? Let's see. I need the bombs. You... Yeah, use bombs wisely. I, I get that. I get that. Why don't I know what the fuck I'm doing? Yeah, shouldn't that be it? I guess you just have to bomb it 10 million times. Oh, you bitch! Get it, you hoe. Oh! God, you guys see that epic dodge? Uh, slippy fuck no, look at my health, you cunt. Ah! Fox, are you okay? As you can hear this just like... Degree of panic that's never been heard in our lives. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, it's the exhaust pipes. See, I knew it. I was shooting the wrong damn thing the whole time. Alright, there. No more exhaust. Woo! Okay, can we, like, fucking die now? Yeah. Drop the crane! Yeah, you drop that crane, you... Oh, you son of a dick. No, I'm about to give up, man. My instincts are shit. You saw what I was doing this whole fight? Fucking peppy. Okay. I don't have no bombs. I ain't got no bombs, son. More bombs, hoes. More bombs. More. More. You fucking. We need to get like 16 bombs and just hoard them. Let's just get the bombs and just hoard them. All right. Dage Frost is breeding a shiny Feebass. We got to read this. I think I'm about to get potatoed, though. That's my problem. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking trying. Ah, uh, shoot! Yeah, no, you're doing plenty of that. Plenty of shooting. Said, I'm breeding a Feebass and Shining Pearl. Oh, that's what it was. Holy! Okay. Aren't I doing that? You slut. Fuck you. The cursing. The cursing will get me through this. The cursing will get me through. Holy Degrassi! Oh my god, I'm seriously on my last hit. You guys, I... I had it. I had it. I had it. We were on the last hit, and then I died. If I would've... Okay. Let's go on to the sales part, and let's read what Dage Frost was saying. Said, OMG, I'm breeding a Feebess and Shining Pearl to get a specific nature, but I've released so many of the wrong natured Feebess, I've now made it fucking native to Sinnoh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is so nuts. Alright, son. Here, everybody, we're transitioning our setup here. Let's, uh, do this face cam. That's what I'm looking for. We'll take away the green screen. I'm coming to you live Ooh, from my room. All right. Holy bejeebus. I can't believe that was so hard for me. <laughs> Just that one fucking level. All righty. So, yeah. Everything is good with the games except for one of them. I'll show you here in a second as far as condition goes but like we also have uh, banjo kazooie here still in the bag right now for some freshness i also got these so this i don't know you guys should tell me how do you feel about this kind of stuff but we've already talked about how i use timu right a lot of people are against timu because of the i guess ethics of it right the morals and ethics of Timu and how they can get those low prices or whatever. 
but those prices are fucking low and in this business if you can have low prices it's like practically free well these were literally free i got these on timu and then i learned and listen i think i'm sticking it to the man okay because timu fucks people right doesn't timu fuck people who work for them <sighs> but yeah shambler says i love timu <laughs> So would you sell that one sealed rocket arena for like 10 bucks? That would be nice, man. Let's do it. I bet we're going to get like five something plus shipping. So like almost 10 bucks probably. But okay. So I got this for free. Let me tell you. So this normally I got, um, I think 20 of these or maybe 10 of them. I have to look, but um, I got these. These are for an N64 cart. So you put it in here. And so just more freshness and it's going to look good. Nice package deal, right? So this is our Forsaken 64. I'm going to have to take that out, though, so I can take that price tag off. But look, now we've got it boxed up, right? So that's nice and fresh. So these, uh, they were on Timu for, I think it was like 7 or 8 bucks, which is kind of expensive for Timu, right? You know, when you think about it. So I must have got 20 But I learned that evidently you can get your first refund, like, no questions asked or whatever on Timu. The first one that you do, they just, like, will do it automatically. And so... I just I requested a refund and I said these aren't clear enough which is a stupid I mean they it's true they're not completely clear they're a little bit matte clear you know I don't know if that makes sense to you guys they're a little bit matte m-a-t-t-e but um I told the reason being basically that of that they're not fully perfectly clear and so Timu actually agreed to refund it immediately right then and said, don't send the product back. They were just like, recycle it or give it to someone, whatever you want to do. And so I got these completely for free. So if you haven't done that yet on your Timu, try to get something expensive and then try to refund it if you think they won't ask for it back. That was the thing. I didn't know. If they were going to ask for this back to get the refund, then I wouldn't have done it. You know, I just wouldn't have. I just wouldn't have sent it back and I would have kept it you know for the money but i tried it and it worked <laughs> so yeah um completely free like eight dollar purchase of like 20 of these cases so that's great um but yeah shambler was saying uh oh no nintendo said never bought from timu and then dage frost was saying lol and shambler said dang son dage frost says so what you can do is make a new account and do the same thing again <laughs> that's the thing though is that you have to beware that they may ask for the product back right and so uh you know just your mileage may vary i guess is the point right but look at this we got eve's kid x or is it ev's kid x but anyway thank you so much for being here saying it. is timu better than aliexpress i actually do not have any experience with aliexpress to me aliexpress looks more scamish than timu having used timu several times that's how i get in in this business again if you're going to be like flipping the margins sometimes can be so thin so i got my bubble mailers for games from timu because you can get like a 50 pack of this size which is perfect for most of the games like most of them fit these dimensions right it's something like nine by seven and it's like 9.06 by 7.05 or something you see what i'm saying but what i'm saying is that you can get like 50 of these for seven five dollars just who depends on the merchant and which one but like i've gotten them for those prices or less uh from timu at different times so you guys if you also then have rakuten so rakuten is an app that you can get cash back if you purchase using the app so you would sign in on your phone um and use rakuten and so rakuten gives you a percentage of your cash back for timu they always have like eight twelve percent cash back so i got all this shit from Timu, I refunded, but I also got cash back, like, fucking awesome, okay? So I think that's the point, and again, I am willing to hear out anybody who has a uh, bone to pick with me because they're like, Timu is exploiting labor and it's bad and stuff like that. Okay, I, I agree with you, all right? So I use it for the purchases that are stupid expensive on the margins, you know, you gotta have a bubble mailer to, like, ship shit out on this. It's just, like, a you gotta have that expense. Whereas, like, tape, you know, like, I don't buy that on Timu. I get that at Walmart or something, you know, or Sam's, because Sam's Club's got, like, the fucking deals on bulk, right? So that's just, like, I can buy that once and be fine. Bubble mailer, you can buy one pack of 50 and be okay for a while, but you're gonna roll through them, right, if you do a lot of sales? So you see what I'm saying here. I'm trying to do both. So, yeah, I get it. But yeah, 
Shambler said, need to order more. Team Room Nintendo said, maybe I should put something from my art style and then be a Karen about it. <laughs> hey. Shamla said the key is to always use PayPal for buyer protection. I always do, and Rakuten will do it through PayPal. Um, I also use my credit card because they are good at... Um, it's actually a credit card just for creators, so it's called Carrot, K-A-R-A-T. Um, and so Carrot, like will only acknowledge you with a card if you're like a big creator or whatever and so because my channel was like viral in the past you know they were like yeah he meets the criteria let's call him and so they did and so i did it anyway shambler said you can always get free shipping supplies from the post office the main thing about that is that if they offer free tape then that's awesome but their packaging would have to then be priority mail i don't believe they offer you just like a bubble mailer like this that you could send first class which is the cheapest if you had to send something priority you're already talking about this much more money each time you know what i mean to to do that over several times would be suckish if you're just sending one package okay i can get why you would do that or whatever but i'm sending sometimes multiple packages a day or just packages every day or every week and stuff like that right anyway we'll get to this in a second i uh, just wanted to make sure and read all y'all's chat but Nintendo said yeah official market equipment is inaccessible if you're starting out sometimes you just got to get the cheap stuff to build yourself up first it's like pc building you start then you upgrade looks at back to zero Shamla said, you have a special credit card that's special? I think it actually sucks compared to a lot of other credit cards now Now that I've learned. I was very averse to credit cards in my whole life, so I just never had one until uh, almost two years ago is when I started, I guess. It was about two years ago. And it was because they called me up. They, they reached out to me on my email and said, you know, listen, we've got this credit card for creators it's for youtube creators so you can get your rewards based on things that creators typically would buy and i said like i'm a gaming creator so is there like video game rewards and they said yeah you can set it for video games like electronics is what it would fall into and so their reward categories are good and all it's just the rates of what they give you like you'd probably do better with one of the big airline you know whatever ones give you airline miles because this shit don't give you no airline miles so like i can't get good airline ones you know what i mean Anyway, Shambler said, I get like a new one every year, but I do have an update on that. They uh, have a GameStop credit card coming out, and normally GameStop is shitty, right? But I have found that while they're shitty, there are times to exploit them and actually use it for good, right? And so because GameStop fucks a lot of people over, sometimes I don't feel bad when they make a mistake, right? But one thing that they're doing, I think that's correct, is like they have a pro membership and they always treat a pro better but their credit card comes with free pro membership on it and stuff. And then you get the 4% point bonus or cash back bonus. I need to look into it. But yeah, so I'm going to do their credit card, I think. Maybe when my account is going to renew so that then I don't have to renew, but I got the most time out of my account. So like it renews in December, you know, auto renewal. But I'll stop it you know, December 1st or whatever, not the 15th when it does renew. Because then I've gotten the most time out of it for free or i paid for it so does that make sense anyway let's get the phone on the screen for you guys so i can show you some shit but this is uh it, it, there's been some dope stuff that's happened uh, a lot of you guys know that shambler sent us some games uh to sell i recently paid him out so again if you're ever looking to sell some shit i can probably get it sold for like a good deal you know shambler was just like dude i'm happy with this you know i said like i'll pay you 54 dollars for that or 52 whatever i agreed with him on and uh he so generous generously said you know what just give me half and so it ended up being like 46 that we each got right shambler 46 48 something like that so we each got you know a nice payday out of that because he had some switch games that he got to play he was like i think of that as like a free rental basically <laughs> you know um, okay, so let's get you guys the iPhone here so you can see that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here we go. Okay. We'll move me over. All right, y'all. Yeah, Shambler's like, I'm definitely sending you stuff going forward, man. Well, that's, that's awesome. You know, some of the stuff you sent me was higher quality. I know that those five cent games... We'll see what happens, but like I said, I was like, if we can't move them, then I'll just bundle them as this mystery game. See, so okay, let's say we're selling something for the PS4, but then we'll say mystery game, like if you buy it now at full price, then we can charge higher on the full price by like $2, $3, and then that way you've made $3 on this game, you know? 
So this will be the mystery game. They won't know it though, you know, right? But like mystery game. So you get a you'll get an entire new p like uh, an extra PS4. That's what we'll say. Like a you know an additional PS4 game used, and it can be this one. You know, Shambler said use them as coasters. But yeah, Shambler got these for an actual literal five cents with free shipping. So he said, "Fuck yeah, I'll send them over." And so I did list one of these yesterday, and I don't even know if it's gotten viewed yet. We can check my eBay right now. We'll see. But yeah. We'll see if it's gotten any views. I might have put it at too high of a price. So yeah, at four fifty five and four dollars shipping, it's not getting any views quite yet. So like I thought, people probably aren't looking for this one too much. We're gonna still see and we may promote it right here. Why not? So you can promote your listing and that just means that whatever you set the ad rate for, eBay will shave off that ad rate so we did an 11 percent, which is huge the minimum is two and that's usually what i do um but okay let's look at what we sold so keep in mind if you're brand new to this series that the amount that you you see right here is a 90 day total and that's not our profit so that's not what i got in 90 days in the green so you imagine that something costs us money to acquire right like this game and then we have to sell it and the fees and and shipping right so in that respect, you can obviously see that, no, our profit is not $2,961. That would be amazing, but hey, that's still good to me, you know, as a sale total. So here's some shit. I just did this game today. So you guys, if y'all want the lessons here, I don't know if this interests you, but something that I... Um, Oh yeah, Dage Frost, you absolutely can. Um, I don't know what our shipping rates are going to be like in Canada and whatnot, but... Um, I, we can also do it as an eBay transaction because they have like their international like waypoint and stuff like that. But um, yeah, let me get you. Let me see if I'm going to type this command. I don't know if this works. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, so yeah, the address is on the about page of the YouTube channel. I should just get you the address. Hold up. I'll just copy and paste that. But yes, I do have a PO box. So Shambler was just like, I'm just going to straight up order it you know from that website the use games like site and he's like i'm just gonna send it directly from their site to dr k's post like post office box so it was nice because that costed nothing for either of us and i got the game so um here you go i got that for you right here that's gonna hit the chat and so obviously just let me know when it comes through and i'll check my po box there but there it is you guys um so, okay, let's talk about it. So, again, we were talking about, like, haggling and stuff like that last time. And so, you know, hopefully there was some stuff to learn about last time that we talked about it. But this time will be a little bit kind of a, a new, like, story here. But this first game that you see right there. So, Wild Card Football. This is a game I've sold actually three or four times so far since last Christmas. So, since December. So, I haven't sold it super often or anything because i just don't always have it on stock or anything like that but um ultimately the wild card football um it costs you like 21 dollars at walmart because it's a 20 dollar game and then there's some tax so if you see it at walmart you could do the same but ultimately um you can see that it sold for 27.48 and then i charged extra on the shipping shipping for a game is usually about four dollars and two cents for most territories for me within the united states so um wild card football we sold somebody today just today was giving me offers in ebay fortunately they were using ebay system right so they weren't like fucking dming me below my you know hey ten dollars or something you know jackasses but like i set my minimum for 19.99 i think and so they were sending me you know hey 22 dollars so at 22 i wouldn't make anything right you know like ebay takes a fee off the top and i paid 21 dollars for it ultimately at $22 that's totally not worth it like I'd make like two cents or something but anyway so uh then you know I countered it and in, in, in eBay if they send you an offer you can counter offer and so I sent a counter offer $26.99 you know this is my listed price $27.48 I said $26.99 and that was going to be my bottom to go. And so then the person said uh, 25, I think, or 24 is what they sent back. And so I just ignored it for a while. I, I, I hit decline. So that means they see it as decline. And so then 
give them like two minutes and then they sent back another offer of my 26.99 that i originally encountered them and they were like okay i'll do it like they put a message with it and so i was like well i can accept this right now or the better option which is just to wait so i told myself i'll wait until tomorrow if the game hasn't sold by then maybe i'll do it you know i'll, I'll evaluate then your offer expires in like 48 hours or something so ultimately um I waited for probably about an hour and a half and the game sold at full price. So there you go. There's a lesson in if these people are haggling you and you pretty much know what you've got and stuff, probably better to just wait, wait on it. You know, if you really need the money, if you really want to get rid of something, then I can understand taking that, you know, when the when the person sent me that twenty six ninety nine, but that ended up benefiting me. So I'm sending it on right back. And Mace Penguin coming up in the chat saying, how dare you? Hopefully, of course, being uh, sarcastic. But if not, how dare you? Um, a shambler was like, I mean, five cents of free shipping. The company paid you to basically to take them, basically. Yeah. So just thought we should tell that story about it. But um, all right. So check this out. This is the story here about why we did the N64. So in 64 today, because we did have the, the stock, so I do want to start listing all these that we've got. We've got Destruction Derby. We've got Arrow Fighters Assault. We got Diddy Kong, which we played today. Mario Kart 64, which we played today. We didn't play Banjo-Kazooie, but Star Fox as well. We got that, and we got this Forsaken 64 that I showed before. So ultimately, a decent stock on our hands. Mario Kart. Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart. The secret for my business is Wii Sports and Mario Kart. If I see those two, I'm trying to get them at any minimal price that I can make the margin because it will sell. I joked one time that I sold Mario Kart Wii literally fast as shit because I went, um, I listed it and then sat on the toilet to go poop and it sold before the poop was done and I was done in there. It literally just sold like I listed it and boom, it sold. So Mario Kart, all the time. So what happened was, you see right now, blammo, there is a Nintendo 64, two controllers, and two games in there. So we do actually come up at a loss because I included the two games, but I'm going to explain. And this also helps us with the cost for our Mario Kart. So the explanation is that someone on Facebook Marketplace listed a Nintendo 64, $100. And so that's awesome if it has extra shit. And so it did. It had three controllers, and it came with Mario Kart and GoldenEye. Those are like two of the top selling games in this business. And so ultimately, absolutely messaged them, and they were like, yeah, I work at a pawn shop. So was that a pawn shop? I hardly ever go to pawn shops, so that was kind of, uh, it was an interesting thing. Of course, I'm in Texas. The very first thing that happens is somebody's right in front of me entering the door and he goes straight for the guns they got a shit ton of guns and the guy's just like talking the whole time that i was doing the n64 transaction he was talking about guns deeply man so <laughs> that dude was picking up some shit and he looked fucking sus i should have called somebody probably but yeah no you don't want to be a bitch so anyway the point being luckily he didn't go for the n64 i was like what if this guy goes for the n64 I'll be fucked. So, like, you know, I made it as quick as I could to the pawn shop, and it was there still, so I, I met the guy. And so I was like, this, I was like, Angelo told me that there was an N64 here. I'm definitely here for it. $100, but they do charge tax at a pawn shop. So, unfortunately, there was some tax to it. It ended up being, what is that? I think that's like $107 or something with tax. I forget what the tax is, the sales tax. But, um, yeah. So, ultimately, though, with um, I did good on the shipping because the buyer paid for, for that. But then I also charged higher and kept one of the controllers, right? So, ultimately, I'm kind of counting this as like it is a win, but it displays to us what the cost of our Mario Kart and our GoldenEye is because you see that I kept, I kept those. But the two games that I gave them were two that didn't move. So, I knew that the N64 is a hot item. It would probably sell, but to make this sweeter and to get it at a higher price like that, I used these two games that came from a past 
best deal. The only two of the lot that haven't sold yet, except for this Forsaken. Forsaken is the last one from the lot now that needs to be sold. That was the guy, Danny. Uh, I told the story about him. He essentially said, like, we could have brushed elbows at the, the, the wedding that we both went to. Like, it was a guy that I, like, found out I had mutual friends with, and it turned out to be the matron of honor at my my wife was a maid of honor for her um she was also and went vice versa anyway her best friend so that guy danny that was the the two games that were left it was like madden and uh uh tetrasphere do you guys remember tetrasphere dude and that cartridge was in sh- shitty condition because hollywood video engraved fucking hollywood video they engraved it so it was like cut in there you couldn't get rid of that unless you sanded that off you know what i mean isn't that nuts <laughs> So that was awesome because we got rid of that. Now, this is why if you consider those two games, I probably maybe got this at like a loss. It's like either a loss or breaking even. And so I'm just saying that my Mario Kart is for $4 and GoldenEye. So that would be $2 actually for each one. I just now realized. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm tired. Um, So yeah, Mario Kart for two fucking dollars. Dude, this game sells for like 38, 40, something like that. So we'll try to get a lot for it. We'll wait. We'll hold out for the right price. Race with Ryan, you guys. We didn't play that on our Switch collector flip, but it did finally go. You can see it wasn't that profitable. I can tell you what I took home. I did pay $3 for that one because every single game in the whole lot, I bought like a 100 game lot of games that uh, each one came out essentially to about $3 or so, I think. Uh, So boom race with ryan we made essentially two 212 there you go on that one as our profit margin so not great of course but it was nice to get rid of that and then this is the good one is wave race blue storm and so that was actually six dollars and three cents as our profit um it was one that sat for a long time it was the only one left from a gamecube lot and so you guys probably remember when we collect or flipped with this game <laughs> wave race so that was nice it finally sold it was sitting there for so long and getting views and everything dude it was crazy so like i'm so glad that it sold because that sat for a long long time like what the hell dude it's wave race i thought people liked that shit so anyway iron crown ex does anyone remember me pulling this shit dude this card sold for a hundred plus can you believe that you guys we were doing i didn't even know this this is the brand new set of pokemon cards temporal forces or is it temporal forces temporal forces um and so this is one of the sirs special illustration rare and so you know you give them some shipping and 104.99 probably could have gone higher but i didn't really know but yeah that's insane i sent shambler a message when i found that out because i was like organizing the cards after that stream i was like dude this card sells for like 100 bucks so let's do it (laughs) And so this is where we're starting to get into last stream, I believe. I think you guys saw this, right? Maybe. But yeah, that's where Shambler's game, Dodgeball Academia. Look at that. That's a pretty good price, you know, because Sham, I was thinking maybe we'll get like 10 bucks for that. But no, we got 16.11 and they paid shipping. So that's awesome. Wii Sports Resort, man, just like Wii Sports Epic. I was getting a lot of offers that day for that game. Stuck it out, got my full price. So that's fine. This one was interesting. So you guys remember we did Sega Collector Flip. So that was a... uh, Oh, I haven't even been doing this, you guys. Money. We should definitely be counting the monies, you know. Money. Get money. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the Sega Collector Flip, it was fun. The Indiana Jones game, continuously... I would unlist it and relist it. I would do the sell similar thing over and over again because this game would for fucking real get like six, seven watchers on it, a ton of views, and it would never sell. It was just never, ever, ever selling, man, no matter what I was doing. I was getting so pissed because, I mean, I wasn't really. I was just like, I'm going to hold out. I'm going to hold out because there's something about this game, and I think... All that it is is just that it's a popular franchise, right? Like Indiana Jones. And it must have been a game that a lot of people played, but I didn't. But it's Sega Genesis, right? So, like, there's not really new copies of it out there. And so I think it's one of just the harder ones that you're not going to see listed, usually for a good price. So I was kind of listing it, though, at, like, the typical higher end of the market value. 
And so you see that it was sold with uh, another game, and it says Sega Genesis 4, and I'm outing the guy's username, but that person's username. So that person on eBay, uh, we sold it to, and their name was... Uh, that's their name, but their their language seemed to be French. They were translating it, and so the way that I found that out was clicking on their profile. It said that their location was France, and just the way that they were speaking, the sentence structure was like translating French to English sometimes. Certain words just seemed kind of off, and so I was like, oh, this person, they might be in France, but they were messaging me to say like, hey, I'm interested in two different listings that you have. You have Indiana Jones, and you have uh, Street Fighter Two. I want both of those games and uh, I said yeah if you bundle those like I'll take a dollar off each one of them two dollars off or something I don't remember what I said but like I'll just I'll give you a discount maybe is usually how I phrase it and so they said yeah how much would that be with shipping and I was like wait if this person's in France like you know we'd be shipping to the international place which is actually me shipping to Kentucky so eBay's international port is Kentucky and then it goes to the country that it's like going out so that's not too bad shipping to kentucky's fine to me so i said here's what i'm seeing it's like over six bucks and so they said that was fine so <laughs> fucking awesome we got it and those games i didn't list street fighter 2 for very long but indiana jones was listed for a long time it was listed for me love you long time so shambler is saying uh how much does rainbow whoops Billy, the curse, it's not auto-completing of the love I, uh, and you said sealed, and so yeah, that is for the Nintendo Switch. For some reason, it wasn't auto-completing. So this website has the average of 2183. You always want to drill in deeper and see what the maximum is that people are getting, 2699 right there. 2375 you know those are some better margins usually if someone sells for something way low there was a higher shipping cost we could try to click on that and see sometimes you can tell sometimes not no they sent they said free shipping but they did 550 545 that's funny they said free shipping <laughs> but it wasn't interesting but anyway so yeah it looks like that person way undercut it usually what the deal is they charged a lot for shipping but hey yeah Dave Frost said if you ever need a hand with someone speaking French I'm bilingual just want to let you know all right that's good knowledge I always like to have some knowledge always like to have a connection with somebody in my back pocket so thank you for that but yeah Sham looks like the highest you'd get is in these like 28 26 but probably more of a realistic average is in the 24 25 maybe 23 so you said you got a, cu a couple copies that you got for 9.99 so that's a good flip man that would be that would be good. Nine 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 each a while back, so I say you sell them, man, or get them to me and I'll sell them. But um, of course, I just want to specify, you guys, like I'll cut myself in on some profits if I'm doing the legwork to sell. So just keep that in mind. But you know, usually uh, I will tell you, you know, what we can pay you and what we can pay me if it sells at this price. And with Shambler, I feel like we kind of got even better than the prices that I like told you sham I think we did better because if you imagine that I said like hey I'll sell I can do $52 for these and then it ended up being like 80 something right it was pretty good okay so um I think that was all the stories that I had but we're gonna end it off with looking up the prices for some of these so we got Mario Kart 64 like I said, I kind of know what this makes nowadays, but we will look at it. And I'm thinking about investing in this just like I've got up here a Mario Kart with the box and the manual. Because if we did that, we would jump up to an average of $122. Look at this person sold it for $189. You guys, could you believe a fucking $2 flip on this shit? If we got a box and the manual so it would be whatever the box and the manual cost plus the two dollars and I've seen the manual sometimes go for six I've seen the box go from anywhere from like 40 to 60 that would still be good margins it would be what is that let's say we got it for like 50 we'll go in the middle manual at six out of two let's just say it would cost us 60 bucks even if it did that to be like all conservative like 
Look at that. Even if we did 179, 110 is still good. Any of those prices to flip that shit, that would be dope. That would be fresh. Nintendo said, so I looked on Timu. I found a badge maker for a good price. There you go, man. I'm telling you, Timu. And uh, get Rakuten, you guys. Here's Rakuten right there. Do you see that purple, that one? That app right there. So get Rakuten. Um, it's very easy. You'll just connect your PayPal, your cards or whatever. And you can buy shit on eBay for like 1% cash back. Best Buy, Walmart, uh, Target. Those usually are like a 1% to 2% cash back. Sometimes they'll do deals where they'll say, hey, it's 6% cash back at Macy's or at Walmart, you know, this week. Uh, but Timu is like always 8%, 12%, like fucking A. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, Mario Kart, that's going to be killer. I think that's the plan I'm actually going to go for. It'll probably take longer to sell, but I'm going to try to get a good deal on a manual and a good deal on a box. A lot of people charge like crazy for that shit, but... It would be dope, man, to turn that into that profit. Because if we didn't do that, then we'd be looking at a $2 cart, right, into one of these. Now, I would love 60 Like, that would be great. But I don't know if I'm going to get 60 fucking $6. That sounds crazy. What did this person give? Damn. I mean, theirs does look clean, but mine's not too much worse than theirs. Look at that. Hmm. Damn. So, I mean, at that margin, I would probably do that. Maybe I'll try that first. Do you guys think I should? And if it just doesn't sell at 66, then I could, like, investigate the box and everything. Because if I did the box for 60, that would be probably my, like, highest I'd go or whatever. So I'm just wanting to be, like, conservative. At 189, that would still be better. I don't know if we could get 189, dude. That would be so dope. Damn, but this person has, like, the inserts. I don't have that shit. So I have the white, um, like, the cardboard. So I got, like, a whole bunch of those off Timu. Uh, let's see. No, I can't show you. Yeah, okay, I can't show you. But you know the white that the cartridge is sitting in? It looks just like some cardboard or whatever. That part. So I got that on Timu. I got a bunch of those for really cheap. So, you know, I'd be able to get that. Um, we just wouldn't have these, like, inserts up here. But we would have the manual unless we paid more and got the inserts. But the box, and I do have a box protector. So, I mean, I could probably go high up there. What do you guys think? I think that could be good, though. Either way, it's going to be straight up money. Money. So, the other two games that we played today, uh, Star Fox. Let's look that shit up. Boom. So yeah, Lucy goes for. Yeah, I see twenty nine. That would be nice. Twenty four, twenty five. Yep, yep. Complete in box, man. That's the thing. Some of these are the box with the rumble pack, and I don't. I do actually have two rumble packs, but I don't know if I want to sell both of or one of them. I want to keep both of them is what I'm trying to say. We'll see. I'll think about it. So that could be another strategy. Um, and Diddy Kong. Not City. City Kong Racing. And there's, of course, a DS version. But we are looking for Nintendo 64. It sells a little bit lower than I thought, but that's okay. That's okay. So yeah, do it at thirty nine ninety five. That would be dope. Again, some of those higher ones are hard to get. Thirty one could be maybe better. Eh? But yeah, Shambler was saying I had the CIB game and sold back when I graduated college. I guess you're talking about Mario Kart. But yeah, Nintendo said uh, I miss Walmart and Target. I loved Walmart food. That's that's. I'm sad that you don't have that. Walmart is fresh. It's fucking Walmart, but it's fresh. Um. So you guys, you can probably see actually that I was working on that. So it used to just have like Pokemon card mess. So what I determined was I wanted to put at least all of my Wii collection. I'm sure maybe I'd have like the last shelf free if I did all of this Wii for the two shelves. So I'll have to decide if I put more games or something else on the bottom. But the problem was that when I put them in that shelf, you can see that the Game Boy box is in the shadows, right? 
look at these Wii games. This is the test. They're not going to be there, but like that's the test right now. So what I do is put the Pokemon Elite Trainer boxes that I've opened and used already and put them in the back so then the Wii games are pushed forward out more because I'm not going to use those elite trainer boxes probably and if I am then I'll just take the games out and take the box out right so that's going to be my strategies I'm going to back the shelves because they go too deep I'm going to back them and line that backing with the uh, elite trainer boxes and then have my Wii games all the Wii collection on display there Um, I just chose Wii because all the boxes are white against that blue I just thought that could look good And I have a shit ton of Wii games, so I'll just, that'll just be for my collection, not collector flip. Anything collector flip is on those shelves that I showed you guys last time. Some people maybe weren't here for that, so I could show you. The room's a mess, but those shelves back there on the other side. So that's where all the inventory for collector flip goes if I'm going to sell it. It's all stockpiled over there as it should be. The N64s will go back there. Um... But yeah, I think that's just about everything from me today. So please tell me any last things you want to in the chat. And then I'm going to head out. But I always appreciate everybody being here, man. It's, uh, these are always fun for me. Um, (laughs) it's just like sort of revisiting some nostalgia of my past. But then talking to you guys about like, hey, look at these wins. You know, it's just sort of all like a really good time because a lot of you guys also had like your own past with some of these games or you want to talk about it with me about mine. And, you know, it's just like a fun time to like kind of share everybody's story. Um, so, yeah, I've been really liking it. I appreciate that we, you know, we sort of have our core crew here that comes to all of them. So, you guys, again, it, it just means a lot that you show up and and spend this time with me man but yeah Shambla said I need to look for that one oh the football game for the switch so it actually looks like a good game to be honest and I don't play a lot of sports games but it's called wild card football and I could show you what it looks like um but right here so wild card football we could actually bring up the trailer if you want to see what this game's about that could be fun um here Okay, so it's just like one of those football games that like has like a fantasy element to it, meaning like fucking meteors could come down from the sky or like, you know, like goofy type of shit. Wild card football trailer. Let's look up that. Uh, here. Who's Chris Burn? Chris Berman. I don't know who Chris Berman is. I guess that's a dude that was in football. Okay, where's the... Eh, 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 oh. No, I'm looking for the window source. That's the OBS window. They're playing a Ghostbusters ad. Okay, there we go. Cool, cool, you guys. So, wild card football. Let's look at the trailer here. All unmuted as well. Ball fans, I'm Chris Berman. And welcome to Wild Card Football, brought to you by Sabre Interactive's Playground Sports. Wild Card is football for everyone, young and old, with seven-on-seven arcade-style madness. And sure, you still need 10 yards for a first down, but in our game, there are no penalties, so no holding, no pass interference, no refs slowing you down. No penalties. And here's where it gets fun. Our card system entirely changes the game. Take rule breakers, as we like to call them. Want to ban your opponent from throwing the ball on a play you know they have to pass? What? No passing for you. Or maybe you need a little help with the scoreboard. Pick a card that gives your team an extra point on top of your score. Or go ahead and steal a little energy from your opposing team. There are tons of ways to play and counterplay your opponent before every snap. But Chris, where's that madness you mentioned earlier? This is a long ah, trailer. Let me tell you about our wild cards. It's all in the name, see? These yeah, here power-ups it is. change the game in ways you've see, never that looks seen fun. before. <laughs> so look right here. You're at the goal line, you need to score. Why don't you leap oh up God. and smash the ground so the defense gets this is knocked nuts. back? Not feeling that? Well, that's okay. How about your running back? Your running back turns giant 
and stomp. Oh my god, head. dude. Really gives new meaning to rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling to score. It looks okay. These cards aren't just for offensive glory. Oh no. We all know defenses win championships. Look at that. You call down a UFO. Oh my god, dude. And move him back 30 yards. Talk about changing it up for Monday Night Highlight Reel. That is fresh. This is wild card football. So grab a controller and we'll see you on the field this October. So the main thing about it is just that I'll tell Shambler or anyone that would want to look for that game is that you do want to essentially ac acknowledge just that it is uh, kind of going out of style, you could say. So it's it's sort of like meeting the flip end. And if you want to hold it long like a stock or something, then that might be good, right? Because you'll have a sealed Switch game. Like, I'd do that with any fucking Switch game, to be honest. Um, Shambler said, looks cool. That game looks cool. Splashdown like Splatoon. Yeah, dude, does this have online play? I'll be honest, I don't know, but let me go grab the... Here, let me move me. I've got the case still, because I'm, I'm shipping this out today. Basically, when I leave you guys, I'm going to go to the post office and sh mail this out. But here... I actually haven't played this myself yet or really sat and watched the back of it. So it says, uh, I'm not seeing anything. Oh yeah. Online. Okay. So it's got an online section. That's usually what you're looking for. So it probably does. That's the back of it. But, um, yeah. So like I say, you can get it again walmart has been where i found it the cheapest but some people maybe have some methods that i don't or whatever um but i got it for 21 bucks at walmart it's like 20 plus tax right so whatever that comes out to um it looks fucking fun though like shambler said like it looks kind of cool and that's what i was saying is i think it looks fun but yeah, Dage earlier was saying i don't know if you saw but update on my foot i shattered it's healed well Though there is lasting damage, which hopefully will heal. Yeah, man, I think in that case, Dage, like, you always should have, like, hope, right? You know, it's like, that's one thing that was really bad with me is I, like, often don't have a lot of hope from my physical ailments and stuff like that. But I found that when I do have the hope, it, like, does feel better even if it still hurts or doesn't recover, you know, for a long time. So, um, yeah, we can try to look at the, yeah, we can. I was hoping we could look at oh no we can't okay i was like do we have the back it's gonna let you guys see a picture of the back of it but that's fine we cannot so you guys i think that's it though lisa gave us a woo shambler said nice um but yeah like i say i'm gonna go ahead and mail that out now and it, so that's a semi-small flip margin we can see right here so if we paid 21 for it, we got 24.76 after all said and done. So that's really not a great margin on that. Um, I will take that personally. You know, I'll take it because it was easy. I was already at Walmart. I was racketing, adding a bunch of like groceries and things. And so I said, if I'm going over there, let's add this game. Oh, they have it in stock. Boom. So I added it to my order, right? So really the flip is probably more like, 2075 or something you know with the cash back from Rakuten I'll be doing the computing after this but uh yeah man so that's it I'll see you guys next time and again thank you thank you so much you guys are the elites peace